All right, folks. All right, folks. Welcome back. Uh, I've got a another request. Uh, uh, this is actually uh, a problem where they want us to take these numbers, which are in scientific notation, and get the standard scientific notation. Now, I'll be honest. I've never seen uh, someone write standard scientific notation, but I'm just assuming they mean scientific notation rules. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these numbers together write them all out and then I will rewrite them again with the correct number of sig figs because uh, the directions do not state to use the correct number of sig figs so I'm just going to do it both ways that way we've got both answers so let's go ahead and get started um, now we need to understand what this problem is asking us to do so let's go ahead and look at it and make sure you understand instead of you just randomly punching numbers into a calculator all right what we have is we have 2.45 times 10 to the 6. And like I said in the earlier video, what that means is to take the 2.45 and multiply it by 10 six times. Okay. Now, you see the times uh, 5.23. Okay, so we've got times. So you can put an X here, put it in parentheses like they have. And you're going to take this. Uh, 5.23 and multiply it by 10 raised to the negative 8. Now, what we need to see here is that this number and this number is what's going to multiply themselves together first. Okay, so we have 2.45 uh, times 5.23. Now we could do this in any calculator across America. <laughs> America! But anyway, uh, I know, sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. I was thinking about uh, Will Farrell. But anyway, uh, yeah, the car and all that. So, you know, the other guys. But anyway, uh, we're going to multiply this together and uh, let's see what we get. Like I said, you can use any calculator uh, from the dollar, uh, dollar store, Dollar Tree, or uh, from your great aunt's house and get this answer. So watch 2.45 times 5.23. Now this gives us 12. Let me write this down. This gives us 12.8135. Uh, 8135. Now let's go ahead and take care. I know. I'm just going to leave it like that for now, okay? Now, let's take care of the times 10 to the 6 times 10 to the negative 8. Now, if you remember back from your algebra classes, uh, the powers of 10 are the same base. And when you have the same basis, what do you do to their exponents? Well, you add them. So basically what we have here is we have uh, 10 to the 6 multiplying 10 to the negative 8. And what we need to do is we need to rewrite that it's going to be written like this. It's going to be 10 raised to, I'm writing bigger so we can see it, 10 raised to the 6th, because that's positive 6, plus a negative 8. So let me write like that, plus a negative 8. Now, we know that these two signs are different, so they make a different sign. So that's 10, 6, minus 8. Okay, so that's 10 raised to the 6 minus 8. Now, what does that give us? Well, that gives us uh, 10 raised to the negative 2. Okay, so what we have here then is we have uh, 12.8135 times 10 to the negative 2. And we're done, right? Nope, it's almost in scientific notation. It's really, 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 really close. But it's not. And the reason why it's not in scientific notation is there's two numbers in front of this decimal. That's not good. We just need one. Okay? So we are going to move the decimal, what, forwards or backwards? Which way? Well, if we move it forward, which is the correct way, we're going to have to move it one time. <laughs> and to move it that one time, remember that we're going to have 1.281. Times 10. Now we got to count that one move we did to the first power. And then we have times 10 to the negative 2 power. 
Now, what that gives us, really, if you remember, is the same situation that we had here. We're going to have one take away two. So that puts us in the hole by one. So our answer is 1.2 eight one three five <laughs> times ten to the oh, let me make that ten better one point two eight one three five times ten to the negative one now this is our answer okay now to check yourself if you want to make sure you got this right you just need punching in the calculator okay so let's do that real quick all right now what we have now, what we have is uh, parentheses 2.45 times 10, so second column, times 10 to the 6, close the parentheses, open the parentheses again, 5.23 times 10, so second comma, times 10 to the negative 8, so negative 8. Now close the parentheses up. Now, that's exactly what they have there. All I have to do now is press enter. Now, look what I get. I get the 1, the 2, the 8, the 1, the 3, and the 5, but it's not in scientific notation. Now remember, to put it in scientific notation on TI-83, you just go to the mode, use the blue arrow, move over once, press enter. To back out of this, you can hit second quit, or you can press clear. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to press clear, and you can press enter. And look what I get. 1.28135 times 10 to the negative 1. This is our answer. Now, if we needed the correct number of sig figs, we could only write three of these because there's three sig figs here and three sig figs here, and it's multiplication. You keep the least number of sig figs. So if you are responsible for doing uh, sig fig rules on this, your answer would just be 1.28 times 10 to the negative 1. Okay, So this is with sig figs. This is with sig figs. And this is without, okay? Without sig figs. Okay? So, I don't know uh, what this instructor wanted them to use or not to use. So, there's that one worked out. Now, uh, I'm not going to work these other ones out by hand like this to explain all this because all that this was here for was to explain to you how this is really done by hand. I do not do this every day of my life. I refuse to work it out every time like this. I'm lazy. I will use a calculator to do all the work because, man, I paid $100 for that calculator, so I'm going to get $100 worth of use out of it. Unless the instructor says, show all work. <laughs> if they do, then this is what I would show them. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and finish these other three off just using the calculator so we can call it quits. Okay. All right, so let's punch it in. We have parentheses to... 0.45 times 10, so that's second comma, to the 6, close up my parentheses, press divide, open up those parentheses again, 5.23 times 10, so that's second E, to the negative 8, press negative 8, close up those parentheses, and press enter. Now remember, uh, it's going to use uh, scientific notation when the numbers get big or if you've left it in scientific notation. If you're paranoid, you can change it back to normal, but you might as well just leave it in scientific notation because that's why they want the answers, but this number is so large it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and write it down. And like I said, I don't know what this instructor wants them to do as far as sig figs go, but let's go ahead and write this down. Uh, this gives us uh, 4.68, so we got 4.68 um, what is it again? 4.68, 4, 4, 4, 5, 1, 4, 5, 1, 2, 4, uh, 2, 4, 2, 8, times 10 to the 13th power. Okay, now, if they wanted just the correct number sig figs instead of all of this, what you would do is you look up here again, you got three numbers here, you got three numbers here. Uh, when you're trying to figure out the number of sig figs, you don't you look at and count the times 10 to the negative power or times 10 to the positive power. But anyway, um, you just look at the front ones. And else you got three and three, so we're going to use three sig figs. So we're going to use the four, the six, and the eight. That cannot round uh, up, so you just write 4.68 
times 10 to the 13th power. So both of these are your uh, your answer. I just don't know which one the instructor wanted. I'm assuming since it didn't specify that it wanted uh, sig figs, then they're not needed. But anyway, um, this power is right. Uh, don't let it freak you out just because this is a negative because what you have here is a negative power in the denominator which is going to cause us to have a pretty large uh, top number. So, um, you know, just be aware of that. So don't freak out. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, keep looking. We've got a... Uh, let's see what else we got. Well, let's make sure I punch that in right first. Alright, we got, yeah, 2.45 E6 uh, divided by 5.23 E to the... yeah. We're right. Good. All right. Now let's punch this in uh, on the next one. Actually, we don't even really have to punch this one in. Uh, we just need to really think about uh, back in the day when we were in high school uh, or our first uh, math class in college that went over scientific notation, our first science class. This may be your first science class. Uh, but you can be lazy just use the calculator or you can actually figure it out for yourself. But notice here that when you raise a power to a power, you just multiply the two powers so our answer should just be 4.69 times 10 to the negative 15th and to check yourself to make sure that that's right you can use the calculator to do that for you uh, we have parentheses 4.69 times 10 so that second comma times 10 to the negative 5 then we're going to close up our parentheses then we're going to raise it to the third power now we're going to press enter and uh, notice that we get uh, we get that oh I forgot to raise the 4.69 to the same power too whoa that would have been a major major goof on my part whoo I'm glad I used the calculator man I'm sorry folks that I even made an elementary mistake like that Lord have mercy, I am so glad that I used my cheetah letter. It saved me. Did y'all see that? All right, so uh, basically what we have then is we need to do a correction on this. So let's do that now. All right, what we have here is this. We have to take that power of 3, and we have to not only raise the times 10 to the negative 5 with it, but also the 4.69. So we have 4.69 being raised to the third and we also have the 10 to the negative 5 being raised to the third okay I'm gonna show this one out since I made the mistake myself alright so what we really have then is 4.69 raised to the third I'm gonna try to show show us where this number came from and we get 103 okay we get a hundred and three point 16, 17. Hey, it happens to the best of us. It bothers me when I miss a problem. It really does. All right. 103.161709. Uh, okay. And then we have times 10 to the negative 15. Okay. Now, after that, what we need to do is remember that we need to swing the decimal two times forward. That's one time. That's two times. And what we really have then is one point zero three one six one seven oh nine times ten to the now remember that's that was moving left moving forward so that's gonna be a plus two added to this and that gives us the negative thirteen okay so that's where this answer of one point zero three one six one seven oh nine times ten to the negative thirteenth came from. I am so glad I used the calculator because I would have had to went back and redone this video or corrected the video. So whew, thank goodness that didn't happen. I goofed but at least I caught my goof and the reason why I caught my goof is because I used the calculator. Alright uh, let's go ahead and put this in the correct number of sig figs. We need three sig figs. Uh, the 1.03 will work because the one's not big enough to make the three move up. So with sig figs the answer should be one point uh, zero three times ten to the negative thirteenth. Now this is with sig figs, and this one is without sig figs. Okay. 
Now, let's take care of the last one, okay? Now, to keep myself from messing up on this last one, I'm going to use the calculator. <laughs> All right, now, uh, in order to get it right, you're going to have to make sure to use plenty of parentheses, okay? Because of these extra powers that we have here. All right, so we have uh, parentheses, parentheses, 1.63 times 10, so second comma times 10 to the 8th. Close the parentheses. Now that takes care of the first set because you got got one set closing. And it's squared, so I'm going to say raised to the squared. Close my parentheses. Now notice you got two closed, so that knocks out both of those. Now it's going to be divided by parentheses, parentheses again. And it's going to be 5.55 times 10, so second comma, to the 6th close my parentheses, raise it to the third, and then I'm going to close it. Okay. Now what happens is this first set of parentheses that's here, make sure that the times 10 to the 8 stays with the 1.63. And then raise to the second will make sure that it squares all of that. And the reason why I close the close parentheses outside of the square symbol is to make sure all that stays uh, captured in the numerator divided by and I do the same thing on the bottom I use two sets of parentheses one to make sure uh, that the 5.55 times 10 to the 6 is cubed and also that all that quantity stays down in the denominator as well so just for simple convenience and make making sure that you that I do not goof up and that you do not goof up we're just going to use the calculator on this one and we're going to press enter Okay, and we get this for our answer. So let's write it down. Uh, we get uh, 1.55416, uh, 1905, 1905 times 10 to the negative 4. And that's our answer. Now, to get the correct number of sig figs, once again, it's 3 because there's 3 here and there's 3 here. It's division. Multiplication division says keep the least number of sig figs, and it's 3. So our answer is 1.55 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay. Now, this answer here is with sig figs. And this number is without. Okay. Like I said, I don't know which one your uh, teacher would want, so I'm showing you both here. All right, guys. Uh, well, that's all there was to it other than almost making a mistake on problem C. So uh, be careful on these type of problems. Uh, I wanted to quickly just go ahead and uh, raise the power to the power and finish it out, but I couldn't do that. So I'm so happy that I used the calculator. Now, make sure that when you work these problems, you have a calculator beside you, preferably a scientific uh, calculator, but if you don't have one, it's not impossible to do it without it, so just take your time, and don't just quickly hurry up and do the answer like I almost did on, on uh, problem C there. Just take your time, double check yourself with the calculator, and you'll have great success, guys. All right, y'all have a great day.